How are you doing today, Grady? I'm doing great. Uh, how you feeling com I'm coming up to this fight right now uh, on Thursday? I feel awesome, man. I feel great. Excited to get it on. It's been a while since we saw you in action. Can you tell us uh, a little bit why the layoff and, and things of that nature? Well, not at all. No, not, not a problem at all. I had uh, several knee surgeries on my knee. So I'm, uh, we had my knee been out because of that. You know, uh, things are going great with that now. Uh, feel better than ever. So excited about getting back out there. I mean, since since you won the contender season two, I mean, a lot of things have happened. Steve Forbes fought De La Hoya, got a UB, that you beat for the title. I mean, I, I, seeing that, being you at home at that time, how you, how, how were you taking that in and you had to take that time off while everybody else was, like, doing their thing? Oh, definitely. When I seen Steve Forbes out there fighting De La Hoya, it was, a, it was a hurtful thing to me. I felt that it should have been me fighting De La Hoya, you know, and actually after hopefully beating De La Hoya. Uh, but, you know, things happen for a reason. Uh, I look at it like... You know, what my time to be back out there, yeah. You know, I, I knew I was suffering injuries, so I decided that uh, I wanted to go ahead and take the time out, the right amount of time out to, uh, to fix my knee, to get it right, rehabilitate it, and uh, come back strong. And so that's why I've been out, and that's why I'm coming back now. Okay, I mean, you, you're fighting a, a guy that you know, I mean, a friend of yours, a canine, Bundridge. Um, how, how does it feel coming back after the layoff and then you're fighting a, 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 a friend of yours? Is it just business as usual or how do you feel about it? it? It's definitely business, but it's real hard, though. It's hard to fight a guy that, uh, you know, that I know I can be in, 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 in pursuit of, of him getting, being great or getting to the next level. I would hate to be the one to knock him off the pedestal to make him to, to, you know, get to the next level. But, again, it's business. Uh, I have to feed my family as well as he has to feed his. This is what I like to do. This is what he likes to do. Uh, we're in the business together, so we have to understand that and uh, put the friendship aside and be friends after the fight. All right, man. You've been tra how long have you been training for this fight? Oh, uh, I probably been training about at least I probably say eight eight weeks for this fight. You feel uh, ready? I mean, you had the knee surgery. You mentioned that that you feel great. Uh, anything? Any uh, any kind of issues with that, or you you feel like you can go? No, no injury, no issues with the knee. Uh, the knee been uh, been been there for me. Uh, it was all for the whole eight weeks I've been training. Uh, I actually had a fight on the, uh, September the 12th. Uh, I knocked out the third round. Uh, that was exciting. I mean, it was just uh, good to be back out there in the ring, get the feeling back. And now I'm just excited to get back out there and do it again. All right. I mean, I'm, you feel? I mean, you? I mean, honestly, when you won, when you didn't win the contender, it wasn't really that close of a fight. I thought it was going to be closer than it actually was. You won it pretty easy. You beat Stevie Ford pretty easy. You had the size advantage and whatnot. Do you feel like with that same confidence that, that going forward into into this fight coming up and going forward into the future, you could tell me a little bit about your plans going into the future. Well, uh, you know, I feel good going into this fight. I mean, K9 is, is a stronger guy, a big guy, a hard puncher. Uh, I have trained for that. So, uh, you know, no doubt that uh, I'm, I'm leery of that and uh, expecting that him to come out and hit hard and being ready to uh, try to knock my head off as far as to, to knock me out. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm a lot better slicker, slicker fighter than he is. I'm a lot stronger. I'm just as strong as he is. Uh, I'm just excited to get back out there and let him know that, uh, you know, that, you know, I'm not out there to play games, I'm out there to win. And you, have you been sparring uh, guys who have bigger, bigger weights than you, uh, uh, preparing for this yeah, fight? Uh, somewhat, somewhat. I've been sparring guys. That's, you know, I mean, it's hard to find guys in my weight class back in my hometown. So everybody I have been sparring has been a little bigger than me. Uh, but, you know, it's all for the good, it's all for the better. I mean, I, I inspire guys quicker, faster, stronger. I mean, all my life. So uh, this is just another stepping stone. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for, thanks for giving us the time at Firehop, and the best of luck to you, Grady. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.